Hi there, thanks for watching my YouTube channel Envelope Budgeting and I'm in Porto Vallarta and I thought I'd make a few videos on envelope budgeting and specifically vacationing. So I know um, the easiest thing to do is to just put everything onto your credit card and then go on holidays but what we've done is we actually get together every other Saturday my wife and myself and we sit down and we budget <clears throat> for exactly what we need in order to go on to a vacation and whatever you budget you can almost bank on the idea of actually doubling because something always comes up but a budget is a good place to start and what I've also created along with my 12 envelopes is I also have an additional envelope that's called Venture. And what that means is every single paycheck I set aside money to purchase either a book or for a possible future uh, venture, either buying another business or starting a business, whether it's network marketing, whatever that money is designated for that purpose and I would encourage you to set that up uh, when you're creating your envelope budgeting system whatever you have even if it's six envelopes <coughs> set one envelope aside for that purpose because the truth be known being able to just budget isn't going to get you ahead in life all it is is it's a budget is just going to keep you afloat that's all it's going to do so what you need to be able to do is you need to be able to change your thinking. Okay, here's all the money that I have left after my expenses. What do I do with that money? What do I do with it? If you want to give it away or if you want to help other people, you can do that. But you also need to be thinking about how can I generate more of an income so that I can increase the happiness in my life so I can increase being able to go on more holidays if I if I want to buy a nicer car whatever it is there's nothing wrong with that you just have to change your mindset a bit uh, so some people when they create when they start envelope budgeting they feel like they're restricted the idea behind envelope budgeting is not to restrict you but it's to actually help you find that extra money so that you could either eventually down the road buy a house, buy real estate, invest in someone else's business, partner with someone, uh, join a, a network marketing company, whatever it is, um, maybe buy a membership at a gym, get yourself in shape. That's what budgeting is supposed to help you with. It's not supposed to restrict you. So don't feel like you're restricted in any way. At the beginning, it might seem like that, but once you get a budget in place, now you can go, now you can actually physically see, I have a few extra hundred dollars, what am I gonna do with that money? And I honestly think the worst thing that you could do is throw it in a bank account or throw it under your mattress. I think you need to set that money aside to per start purchasing books on learning about a subject that you don't know anything about if it's finances, if it's accounting, if it's how to start a new business, if it's how to build a website, if it's um, real estate, whatever it is, you need to start investing in yourself. So that's different than blow money. Blow money, your blow money envelope is designed so that you can, every time you have that blow money, and it's a Friday night or whatever, you can go out with your wife, your spouse, whatever it is, whoever that person is, and just blow your money. There's nothing wrong with that. Just spend it. But all your other envelopes are for getting ahead, moving forward. And trust me, if you have a venture envelope, you can call it your financial freedom envelope, whatever it is, but that's for you to be able to invest in yourself. So you need to be thinking about that and that is a reason why I enjoy holidays um, I when we jumped on a plane the flight is about three it's about a four-hour flight from Calgary to Puerto Vallarta uh, I read a book on the flight 
uh, most of it. Uh, it was called uh, The uh, Secrets of the Millionaire Mind by T. Harv Ecker. And, uh, and then I finished it the next day. So within six hours, I had a book read. So there are some people that say I don't like long flights and all that kind of stuff. But if you can take time to invest in yourself, you can't do anything else. You can watch a movie. But why not just read a book? You know, a, a business book. So that's what I did. And that's why I love holidays because I like enjoy I like to read and I like to read one or two books while I'm on holidays. We're all only on holidays for a week. Uh, so we have a few things planned and uh, but yeah, that's my video for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any uh, comments, feel free to comment below and I will talk to you later.